up guys welcome back to Texas Young Guns we are here at the beach enjoying topless weekend for Jeeps that is and I'm excited because we're going to be cooking steaks tonight but I'm gonna be cooking steaks with our brand new pit boss tabletop grill um, it's supposed to compete with the likes of the trigger and all the other kind of stuff all the tabletop type wood pellet grills <laughs> try to say that ten times fast anyways here it is so I'm going to do an unboxing video as well as a first startup and then of course a review so let's get started well, it wouldn't be an unboxing video without the box as you can see this is what it's gonna look like how much was it 197 where'd you get it from Walmart oh Walmart mm -hmm. nothing like the good old Wally world but it was like free two-day shipping kind of like Amazon and here we are All right, so right out of the box, here's all your instructions and how to's and how to use it. That's good, I guess. I'm a man, so I never use that kind of stuff. Usually goes in the trash. All right, here she is out of the box. She's a little bigger than I was expecting. So for size comparison, here is the Cuisinart that I used to use. Still works just fine. And then here is the Pit Boss. It may not have come through in the video, but the Pit Boss is quite a bit bigger, but still portable. One good thing about the Pit Boss is it uses wood pellets, whereas the Cuisinart is the traditional, uses the little gas cylinders. You can see behind it. Luckily, I own a wood pellet grill at home, so it's just a matter of bringing some with us. Something else to consider is that the Cuisinart, all you need is the gas and it has an ignition startup, it requires no power. Whereas the wood pellet grill is going to require a 110 plug. So if you're out boondocking or something like that, you'll have to run a generator or power from your bus. I would imagine it probably sucks a lot of power. Or use your pedestal, um, one of the 110 plugs there. All right, so let's open her up and see what we got inside. As I suspected, here's all of our parts. Um, you can see there's slots for handles and those kind of things. Imagine that's what's in here. Um, here's your grate, which they've wrapped for you. More styrofoam. Now inside you're gonna find this tray that goes on top of the actual burner itself. Now, I know this because, I, like I said, I have a pellet grill at home. But it's got a slot, which I'll show you in a second. I went ahead and took the plastic off of it, but it actually comes in two pieces. This is your base piece that goes over the flame. And this actually goes over the sh kind of shark gill looking openings. What this is for is when the top is over the flame, like so, this actually can either cover it for indirect cooking, like smoking, etc., or you can move this out of the way or out and it gives you a direct flame for like hamburgers or if you want to sear a steak or something like that. Now inside is your pot. This is where your little pellets are going to dump into where the flame comes out of. There's also this middle piece here will actually drain over here and that will actually drain it looks like oh I see so it drains out so I imagine one of the pieces in this cardboard box is actually going to be the little thing that holds grease and what have you. And then of course over here, it's probably going to be where you store your pellets. Yep, so over here is where you store your pellets. You drop them in there. And then of course here's your plug that you'll plug into your 110 outlet. Alright, so here's a little box that comes with it. Uh, looks like, ooh, they give you a little grill cover, that's nice. Uh, here's some handles, miscellaneous hardware to install on the grill. Um, here's the grease catcher I was just mentioning earlier. I assumed that they would have. Sure enough, they do. Here it is here. We'll have to attach that. So 
what's interesting is they have an upper an upper grate to attach on the grill. I assume this is gonna go on top. This must be for what would this be? Hot dogs. Yeah, hot dogs or something that you want higher. Looks like it's gonna attach it to the grill. We'll use that in a minute. And a couple more miscellaneous hardware items for the grill. All right, and you can see I have attached the feet. So these guys are what come in the package, and you got to attach them. The two screws are already on the grill. Pretty easy. Next thing you want to attach is this piece right here. Also comes with the screws on the back of it, and that's to reel up the cord when you're not using it. And last thing we had to attach was the grease tray I mentioned earlier. And it also is just done with the two screws. Well, I said it was the last thing, but actually the last thing is the main handle to be able to lift up the lid. And once again, two screws. And if you're wanting the model number, here it is. PB150 PPS. Here's the stats on it. Five pound hopper capacity. That means it can hold five pounds worth of pellets. Here's the other information. Basically the same information. All right, so we're going to use, I like these pellets. Um, they're like a competition grade pellet, if there is such a thing. Um, but it has a mixture of everything that they have, like uh, hickory, cherry, maple, oak, etc. I kind of all mixed into one. It's called their master blend. And it's kind of a general purpose cook everything blend. And I want to dump, well, I guess five pounds of it. If I have five pounds, into the offer. All right, so I'm gonna plug her in. It's my 110 source. Come over to the front to the control panel. All right, so we've turned it on, or plugged it in rather. So we'll set a temperature. Now this is its first start, so we're gonna have to prime it. It's got no pellets. All right, so in order to start it up for the first time, you're gonna want to prime it. What you want to do is you want to turn the knob to the smoke setting, which is the first setting, so I'll do that now. And then you'll hold down the prime button. And what you're going to do is you're going to wait and listen for the auger to turn and for the pellets to start hitting the combustion chamber. You'll start hearing these little ta-ting, ta-ting, ta-tings. Or you can actually look through the little shark gill grate that I was telling you about. And you can actually watch the auger turn and watch the pellets start feeding in. As soon as the pellets start feeding in, you're good to go. Um, the pit boss will do everything else, and you can raise it to the temperature that you want. All right, so oop, oop, you see the little pellets falling in, starting to fall in. So I'll hold it for a little bit longer just to get a few of them in the combustion chamber. You can see there's one right there just fell in. And they're starting to fall in now, so we should start getting a flame. smell of that smoker mm. makes me hungry I'm already hungry it makes me more hungry but we're getting a good smoke now so that's pretty cool we're already getting some smoke it smells good it does smell good and I was just telling our viewers how good smokers how good they smell mm-hmm they smell really good so one thing while we're waiting on this to heat up so we can put steaks on um, that I wanted to address was why did we get this style rather than just a replacement Cuisinart or one of those gas style ones and it's easy I have learned at home with my big one that these pellet smokers make you look like a cooking hero it's almost like you cannot mess up when you're cooking something because it tastes so good and it's so easy so it got us really excited when we saw they made one 
that was small enough to fit in your RV and we can take on the road with us. So we looked at the Triggers and the other competitors to Pit Boss and for the price point, um, I think this is less than half if not a third of how much the Trigger version costs, probably a half. And you get the same thing, we experienced the same thing with our one at home. I mean, we're really excited to try this out and because it's Pit Boss, I know it will cook well. And no, unfortunately we are not sponsored, but Pit Boss, if you need someone to rep your brand, man, we're here. Steaks are done. Time for the best part, the taste testing. Look at that delicious steak mm. from the new Pit Boss Grill. How's it cooked? Good steak. Very good. Well guys, that concludes the unboxing and first use of the new Pit Boss Table Grill. Um, really easy to use, just like if you already have a pellet grill at home, it's just like it. Just kind of a miniature version of it. Um, but it cooked really well, as you can see the steaks turned out perfect. Makes me look like a cooking hero to my wife, so bonus points there. But so far, after the first use, it looks great. We'll have to see how it does in the long run, and you know we'll be doing a follow-up review in the future. So I hope you liked that video, guys. If you liked it, please like the video. It really helps us out in the YouTube algorithm. And subscribe to our channel. We put out videos just like this, uh, lots of travel videos, RV videos, you name it, we do it. So see you in the next one, guys. Bye.